Baptism. Seven reasons why we baptize in Jesus' name. There has been much controversy about baptizing in Jesus' name. People talk and dispute for and against baptizing in the name. Being honest, they say and do many things contrary to that name, not having an explanation given them why we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ only, mm -hmm. and not in the formula Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. as is commonly done by other ministers of the gospel throughout Christendom. Mm -hmm. we, pro we propose this article to show seven reasons why we baptize in the name of Jesus only. Mm -hmm. Number one, it is apostolic in origin and practice. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter two, verse 38. Chapter four, verses 10 to 12. Cha verses 14 and 18. Acts chapter eight, verses 14 to 17 and chapter 19, verses 1 to 6. It is agreed by Bible students that the apostles are the founders and the foundation of the Church of Jesus, of Church of God, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Their teachings and doctrines are the fundamental principles upon which the church is built. Jesus, in the flesh, taught his disciples the plan of salvation, opening their understanding and making them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. He went to the cross, paid the price of our redemption, and three days afterwards arose from the grave. And on the way to Emmaus, he opened the understanding of two disciples that they might understand the scriptures concerning himself, and said unto them, Thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 27, verses 14 to 48. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of the Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. The disciples continued with one accord in prayer until the day of Pentecost was fully come when the Holy Ghost descended upon them as a rushing mighty wind. And they were all baptized in the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. When this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speaking in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all those who speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? And they were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others, mocking, said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up, preached unto them Jesus Christ crucified, buried, and resurrected. <laughs> he laid to their charge the guilt of his death. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Thus the apostles obeyed the command of Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 24, where he said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Thus the apostles, in obedience to the command of Jesus, 
became the originators of baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. Baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ is apostolic. Not in origin only, but in practice. For no other mode of baptism is to be found in the New Testament. Hmm. Upwards of 100 years after Pentecost, believers were baptized only in the name Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. For example, when Philip went down to Samaria and preached unto them the gospel, they all with one accord gave heed unto Philip what Philip, what Philip had preached, hearing and seeing the miracles that he did. And when the apostles at Jerusalem had heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized into the name of the Lord Jesus. Acts chapter 8, verses 14 to 16. Mm -hmm. Again, in chapter 19, verses 1 to 6, mm -hmm. we read, While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. They then, then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance saying unto the people that they should believe on him that should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized over again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. In no other mode or name was baptism administered in the days of the apostles, save in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And again, in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, we read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All other modes and methods of baptism have arisen since, and not in the days of the apostles. Amen.